This is my mini cooler for my ZWO cameras. The purpose of this uh, project, mini project, was to not to cool uh, until uh, you get uh, minus degrees and lots of uh, uh, fresh uh, freshness in 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 the, the camera, but to allow me with these high temperatures we have now here. Now is here is 35, not at the sun, 35 here, and uh, it's it's burning at the sun. It's burning so at the night. Uh, usually with my uh, ZWO 294, I work well. But now the nights that uh, goes the temperature goes uh, beyond uh, 30 degrees start to mess with uh, the imaging even with uh, low exposures short exposures to EAA so first to tell you if you're a guy uh, that um, want to cool your camera uh, or are uh, in doubt uh, buying a cool or not cooled uh, ZWO 294 it's it's the one I have uh, to do astrophotography or long exposures uh, I, I have to say you that uh, I will not uh, do something like this I will save the money or go straight away to a, a cooled camera um, this, this uh, mini cooler I made just to allow me not to go beyond the, the, the 30 cent, uh, Celsius uh, degrees at night. It's my purpose um, and uh, I did it. Um, this, uh, this kind of, of uh, cooling is because I do EAA. I, don't do, I do sometimes astrophotography for planets and things like that, but always with short exposures. I do lucky imaging. So my astrophotography never has uh, long exposures. Beside, I have a, an equatorial platform. So my, my setup and my style is the short exposures. So uh, usually I use in EAA four second exposures. To astrophotography, I use less than one second. So you see that um, uh, I go maybe to eight seconds, 10 seconds, but I don't like to go further than that. I have better results with the four seconds. It's my my number. Uh, so, to that uh, situation, for that situation, it work uh, something to cool the camera, just not to allow uh, allow to to go further uh, uh, above uh, 30 degrees Celsius. It, it's too much. Uh, it can work like that, but it will introduce a lo lots of noise and uh, the dark uh, will have uh, with the software will have uh, uh, an hard work to to clean that and and uh, i prefer to make my observation with lower noise so that was my purpose uh, if you want to go to another path go straight to the the cool cool it camera because they work uh, they have a, a different system they they can uh, allow the, the they allow the camera to to uh, stay beyond uh, zero degrees and uh, and uh, in a, a linear uh, and stable uh, uh, fluctuation uh, don't have condensation or, or or at least they work well uh, they manage well how to to get rid of that and the camera works fine so if you are in doubt and uh, you want to buy um, uh, an un uncooled camera like this it will work okay if it works for me in this height temperatures we have here uh, if you have less it will work for sure so go straight away for that uh, now uh, I saw a lot of um, before before I, I start this mini project it was mainly for fun but then I realized that it works 
So, uh, before I start, I, I, I made my study and investigation. You should do the same if you don't have the knowledge. So, what is a Peltier, uh, how it works, uh, the different kinds of Peltier, how it works uh, with the current, different current, different voltage, uh, the power supply, etc, etc. You have to know, uh, or you should know, uh, do, that kind of stuff. It's funny to, to learn that kind of stuff and, uh, and um, to, to understand better how it works. Now, um, first, uh, I, I saw uh, in cloudy nights loads of uh, people because the DSLR uh, have uh, mostly that problem with, um, with uh, the, the, the noise and uh, by the heat so they they there's a lot of uh, people that understand very well electronics and this kind of stuff and like to do things and create things very nice people so you have loads of of posts and topics about uh, cooling cameras especially the slr which gives you some ideas also and some uh, how the dynamics work to to for you to assimilate the, the information. Uh, you have also uh, loads of videos in different languages, not only in English, but if you only know English, you, you, but you have in Portuguese a lot, in Spanish, in French, and uh, uh, in English a lot of, of videos about uh, cooling things with Peltier. Uh, especially people used to uh, air conditioner kind of stuff or little fridge mm, air conditioner makes no sense because uh, the, the cool this side and uh, the hot this side you you got to have the hot to, to another uh, compartment uh, I saw also a video it's uh, uh, a guy that I subscribe is Martin Payot uh, it was the the and also Astro Addict uh, as a channel also that and also maybe one or two more that work with these cameras, the ZWO. If you search on YouTube ZWO Cooler, uh, they will jump. But uh, I have uh, I recommend you to, if you like this kind of stuff and do it yourself, uh, to, to search by uh, Peltier Cooler and you have loads of information in, on YouTube and uh, in Cloudy Nights especially too, uh, uh, good information that you can use to understand the thing. Then you work your mind and uh, by yourself you, you create your, your setup. Um, mine is a keep it simple setup, as I like. This is, a, a, you know, I am a keep it simple guy. Uh, I decided to uh, work with uh, with um, with a, a 40 centimeter, uh, 40 millimeters uh, fan and a 40 millimeter setup. So basically, this says the fan, uh, 40 millimeters, then the sink, the heat sink, and uh, uh, the Peltier. I will show you, uh, and uh, and that's it. Uh, if you have materials like I have in in the home. Uh, you you will spend no more than 20 euros or 25 dollars about that you don't need to spend more in this kind of project my project it's a mini a mini cooler it's uh, uh, smaller than the other ones you will see all over the web and youtube they they tend to to put larger uh, heat sinks and and uh, larger fans uh, to have more, more power but that's the, the the point i didn't want to go to 12 volts i wanted to keep uh, the 5 uh, volts because i have my mini ups that you will see and if you see my videos uh, is always there one to the to the, um, the platform and another uh, attached to the uh, to the, the scope and uh, it, it powers the um, it supply the, the the fan to to cool the mirror uh, the primary mirror and that's always uh, on before the night during the night and then after the observation a little bit 
uh, to acclimate uh, inside the home and then uh, I, I disconnect it. That is a, a fixed one. So I wanted to use that same uh, power supply, not adding more power, uh, to to uh, uh, supply this, this little thing. Uh, first, I had to tell you I made a lot of experiments. So I have another Peltier, uh, I have uh, another fan with uh, 12 volts, so I tried already the 12 volt uh, setup, but it drains a lot the, my UPS. To work with uh, uh, 12 volt uh, and uh, uh, more uh, ampere, for, for the current, uh, I had to, I will have to, to use a, a, a battery, uh, a big battery, and I don't want that stuff. I want to keep that little mini UPS, and uh, and I, I got it. Uh, so you be free to comment and give your suggestions, but please remember that if you will say, oh, put a, a, a 12 volt fan, I will not put because of that. Uh, I could increase the, the power, but I don't want. Besides, I don't want, I have a little fear of uh, being uh, too low temperature because of the moisture. I don't want moisture, the dew, the fog. Uh, I don't want to mess with that. Uh, to mess with moisture and condensation and with this stuff that I have now and I have been using for uh, many nights uh, so I'm doing this video because I know already what I have here uh, I may improve maybe uh, if I if I improve in the future something here I will update with another video so this video will be part one and then another part two and up, uh, update if I don't do uh, part one part two or more that's because I, I kept this this uh, setup and uh, that's uh, because it is working fine for now it is so um, that said uh, this is a, a, an insulation uh, that I did with foam. This is very simple. I will take it out for you to see. This is this fits very well here uh, This is easy to do no soldering. I You could do and I have soldering uh, but I, I Didn't need because of the kind of uh, connections. I did it's very easy Well, you you can spend more than $25 if you don't have uh, For example the connection these little connections, or you can use another one. Well, say that my uh, my fan came already with a um, with a connector, so I could uh, not use these white ones, but I, I changed it for for these ones because I like. I will show you the the cable and as a, a switch also very nice with uh, three three or four uh, uh, positions the height to low to the height uh, which change the voltage so it will change how it works uh, I will sh uh, show you because I have attached it to the to the, the tube to the telescope uh, but I can't go to, to record the video uh, in the observatory right now because it's too hot so what is uh, what I did was to buy that's a difference also from all the other videos I saw you have different Peltier models. You have uh, uh, the termination of the number will give you the, the, the current, the amperes. So if it uh, uh, ends in uh, uh, 05, it's 5 amperes. If it ends uh, 06, 6. If it ends uh, of uh, uh, 10, it's 10 amperes. I bought uh, the, um, the, the guys that made the, the, the cooler for, for the ZWO. Uh, uh, use the, the 04 uh, and uh, I decided to, to try I, I bought the 02 the Peltier 02 so it, it works with 2 amperes and I, I, it, it was because my UPS it, it delivers 2 amps 
and um, and uh, different voltage. I have 12, uh, I have five. It's a very nice uh, uh, UPS that soft and you can attach uh, and has a power for all the night, more than one night. Now with this, I can use the fan and this from the beginning of the the, the, the end of the the afternoon. I connect this and the and the, um, the fan to cool the, the primary mirror and it stays all night and uh, I, still have, I still have power for another night. Uh, so, I bought the it tends with 02, so it's a 2 amp. Uh, it's not so used uh, use, uh, use by people, uh, but uh, I, I wanted to try. And it was the, the one that works better. I, I bought this one and I bought the, the 5 amps. So I increased a little uh, comparing to other uh, people that, that use the 4 amps. Uh, I tried, uh, I also bought, this I bought for fun. I bought, uh, and for testing, I like to test things. I bought the 12 volts, um, 12 volts uh, fan. And, uh, and uh, I tried already, uh, I tried different situations. The 12 volts with this, the 12 volts with low power, uh, the, this one with uh, higher power. 12 volts to the Peltier uh, and 5 to, to the fan because this fan is 5. I, I used all the combinations and not to bother you, I will resume it to the 12 volts, uh, 5 amp amps with uh, this. This says about uh, 10 millimeters, millimeters, the heat sink is not very high. Um, and the fan, uh, the 12 volts fan, so the 5 amp uh, Peltier with a 12 volts fan at uh, 12 volts, it will uh, it will have uh, too much hot uh, in the heat sink. So it will require a powerful, uh, a powerful no, a, a bigger, a, a larger fan with uh, a largest uh, heat sink. The heat sink is very important when you want to give more power. Uh, the efficiency of the heat sink is better at, uh, at horizontal. So if you buy a larger uh, like this, it will uh, have more efficiency uh, rather than the, 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 the eight. But the eight also, it will increase efficiency. And a, a powerful fan, it will give you uh, uh, lots of, of uh, air to, to dissipate the, the heat that comes from, from below. So, uh, I assume that you already know how, how to work the, the Peltier. So, if you don't, you, you, you watch a video about that. There's a lot of them. Uh, so, um, what I did was with the, uh, then I, 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 I record videos with the, the, the timings and the temperatures and how it works but I will show you at the end of this video only the, the, the most important one that, that is uh, uh, one hour and 10 minutes, I think. I left this with extreme temper temperatures. Uh, high temperature ambient was about 32 or so. And, uh, and uh, how it cools. I will do it with uh, time lapse, with fast uh, moving for you for you to, to, to see uh, faster and understand. So, the, the 12 volts fan, if you go to that, that path, uh, imagine that you have no problem with the power supply because a lot of people use the battery, the powerful battery. So, if loads of people use, they can uh, attach uh, and, and increase the power. So if you go that path, you know already. I give you the, that information. It's it's very important. You uh, this, the heat sink, a large one, and a, a, a powerful fan uh, at 12 volts will will be will be uh, needed to to dissipate and work at 12 volts. And um, then uh, uh, you you will have loads of heavy stuff here and uh, I don't know how it will work with vibrations. People seem not to complain about that. 
and and I think it will have no problem too if you do the things well, everything very well squared, uh, and that's it. Uh, then I, I noticed that if I work the 12 volts fan with the, the, the 12 volts Peltier at uh, 9 volts, I lower the, the, the voltage, it will work fine. So basically it will do the same as this one uh, this little guy do so but this one uh, is more efficient and uh, because it uses a lower current and, and voltage that's why I, I didn't want to do that you also can in, improve uh, and uh, the power uh, uh, boost the power uh, for example I will give you some ideas if you are a guy that uh, like to do it yourself you can uh, stack uh, Peltier if you, you want a little more, for example, if I want more, I, I may do that experiment. If I do, I, I will, I will uh, record. Uh, because if you stack the, the, the Peltier, it will boost the, the power. But be aware that there's a different uh, connecting in parallel or in serial. In serial works better. That's for you to know. Uh, so let's come back to my, my project. I didn't want to go to, to drain. I, uh, I made the experience and it drained a lot. Uh, the, my, my UPS didn't uh, uh, stand all night long and uh, to, to keep the, the experiment I had to, to disconnect the, the primary mirror fan and I don't want to do that at all. Uh, so uh, if you like me want to, to keep it simple, uh, I bought. Uh, this was a German uh, in Amazon, a German supplier that uh, has a, a, a fan with uh, this, this uh, metal net. It's important to have this because you don't want at night to, to touch this. Uh, so uh, it, it's a, um, a set of the fan, 5 volts, a setup uh, of 5 volts, a fan, 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters. 5 volts and it came with a, a, a smaller uh, heat sink uh, which I used to experiment uh, be, uh, between the, the camera and the Peltier but uh, um, it loses uh, efficiency it's better to, to put the Peltier direct to the camera to the surface of the camera so that little uh, um, set it was a ship set uh, from a German uh, manufacturer, uh, but you can buy uh, China or whatever. They, this is good because it makes no, no noise and no vibration at all. Uh, with a little sink, I replaced for this one of uh, 10 millimeters, I bought. It's cheap also. Um, and uh, a Peltier of uh, 2 amps. So what I did was, to, uh, with thermal paste, if you don't have, you have to, to buy it. Uh, I use thermal paste directly to the camera. Don't worry about that because this is very easy. If you want, to if I want to take this out, I just go here carefully with a knife and and get it out, and then I clean this. You can clean uh, with alcohol, but uh, I even uh, when when I was experimenting, I cleaned with uh, with uh, that. Uh, that humid um, uh, uh, kidnaps uh, like for babies and things like that uh, for, from Johnson on you, you clean like that and or even with a bit of water uh, just to, to humidify uh, so uh, I, I put the thermal paste I will not do now because it's already made you do the you have lots of video about that you you place the the and center it the, the Peltier, like this, with the cables on this side. Then you uh, let it dry to stay fixed, but if you want, you can put uh, already the more ther thermal paste at the hot side of the, the Peltier, which is at the top. And then you uh, place the, um, the heat sink, just like that. Then you just screw the this come with the screws already uh, you just screw the the little fan to the to the the heat sink so three objects just like that with thermal paste 
uh, of course in the fan it doesn't have uh, thermal paste of course and uh, to attach to the camera I did a, a little bracket with uh, uh, that uh, little clamps you have when you buy a cable a USB cable or so they, they came with a um, with a, a, a thin uh, clamp uh, that you, you can use uh, it's it's uh, nice because it it uh, as resistant is resistant to to the the heat we don't want the heat to circulate from this to the top and then some heat to go to the sides so if you can avoid you can also use nylon uh, screws i didn't have nylon screws i use the the regular ones but uh, the difference is not so much i test without the screws and uh, but but uh, if you, uh, i test with a a, a copper uh, a copper um, here a copper cable just the copper and uh, yes it, it will uh, make loose a, bi a, a bit of uh, of uh, of efficiency but it's so low mm, it's not very important but it, it you you want to do the best the best you can do to to keep this the more the more efficient as possible so after this uh, this is very simple uh, you have the two, four cables two from the fan positive negative and two from the Peltier positive negative you connect two negative to one side two negative two positive to another side and uh, to the connection well uh, you will need you don't need soldering this is very easy you can buy off an Amazon uh, or anywhere uh, this this kind of connectors they are uh, uh, electrical connectors or electronic connectors they are cheap i have this at home so i have so i use this uh, you just have to to crimp with a with a, the right tool and the cables you don't need to solder i didn't solder uh, because this is so tight that the cables if i i manage uh, and, and uh, they don't fall so you 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 can use this this connection this was this black uh, uh, it was a, a black cable that i have here too uh, i took off the inside the cables uh, the, and and uh, I, I use it before I, I i put the connector i use it to to get a cleaner a nice uh, nice and cleaner um, uh, aesthetical uh, view I don't want to uh, loads of stuff and mess with stuff and then with this this is a very very important because uh, this is to insulate the the camera so what it, it does it's foam foam from a simple package that from uh, that you can do it, it any children can do this because it's like putting around the foam with a tape okay and then you cut the size you need and to the hole for the the cable the usb cable of the camera and uh, and you just need that the usb cable of the camera and then to this to be fixed and not messing with the connections you will you don't have to do nothing it, it will uh, compress it against the camera so um, you you do this nice and clean and then you can do with foam uh, and duct tape uh, uh, a little this is uh, this square little square is uh, glow in the dark um, uh, tape sticker that i use a lot because to, to not uh, being uh, lost trying to to put the cables I have at the cables and a little square and and here and then just attach it so this is a simple thing that will insulate insulate and and will uh, prevent the heat from outside to mess with uh, the cooling that is being around here this when it starts cooling, this will be uh, all very cool and will pass through here. So it wa was ideally it was uh, to insulate here too, but I can't. So at least I don't know how to do it. 
so uh, at least insulate here and at the top it will make the the cold to stay stuck there it will, will uh, avoid uh, any condensation i had no condensation at all with these temperatures and um, and uh, it will make the 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 hot air the the air that comes will suck the the fan will suck the air and it will go inside and to the sides and as it as here uh, uh, this it will do like this and will not come back to the camera that's important so i will connect this i will place this again you saw already how how the the system is made very simple and it's very nice cute also cute because this is like tiny a tiny system it will not hurt your eyes and uh, beside uh, as a positive way uh, of thinking uh, this protects if the camera falls it will not uh, it will protect your camera so this is right that it, it will not mess with uh, the contact with the camera and the focuser uh, it's very nice it will be like this this doesn't don't mess also because the contact will be inside and uh, you can see that this is very very nice uh, i cover the peltier around with this uh, thin uh, more or less thin uh, foam and then uh, just put one here and then you, you put a cap and stick the, the 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 duct tape it will be fine now I will show you this connected to the cable which has a switch and it's a USB cable so it it will not go beyond the the 5 uh, the 5 uh, volts which is what I want and uh, and then I will show you the video um, with uh, the proof of the the the, the work of the um, the efficiency of of this cooler uh, I will spoil it I can uh, at least five degrees, at least five degrees, any night I, I use this, five degrees at least I can. In this video I had uh, about, uh, I think it was seven degrees, sometimes it goes to seven, sometimes it goes to six, it depends in the uh, the conditions of the night also, the wind, uh, also I think the gravity uh, interfere because with uh, the flow of the airflow I don't know very well but uh, people say say that interfere so in practical terms five degrees you will get uh, less with this which means uh, if it's 30 degrees when I connect the camera usually it's 30 or more uh, usually when I connect the camera, if it's 30, it goes to 31 or 30. It gives a, a, a bit a, a, of a jump when I connect it, because it's starting to work, the sensor, and it, it gives a, a little uh, one or two degrees more. Then I connect the, um, the, the, the cooler, just connect it, and it starts to, to, to cool. And you will see, I, 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 from the beginning until the end, uh, how long does it take and how, how efficient is that? Now, I know already that when I cool down the, the, the telescope, uh, I, I always, before observations, I connect the, the, the fan of the primary and the, when I connect it, it will connect already this and uh, it will be uh, cooling down. I know already that uh, if I have in there's 10 minutes, then 50 minutes, then half an hour, and it's stabilized. Usually, if it's too hot, it's it stabilized uh, in uh, in a, a temperature, and it will be like that. I made already darks, different darks for that temperature, because I know that will be like that. If it's 30, uh, it will be to 25 or less. If it's 25 the camera with uh, the cooler connected it will go to 20. so i didn't uh, uh, try uh, in extreme uh, uh, cool weather because now it's summer or almost so uh, in the next winter i will see how it works 
uh, at low temperatures. The thing that I, that I want, don't, just don't want is condensation and stuff like that. So, for now, it's very well uh, for this weather. Uh, if you want, you jump already to the, the, the part of the video in the telescope, but for people that use this, I want to, to just to tell you that I test this. This is a control uh, of the temperature. It's very nice. They sell on Amazon like this. So you can put a magnet here and attach to the, the scope if you want. You don't need to have something like this. It's ugly. You can do it separately and connect to the, the system. The Martin Payet uh, uh, has the, uh, a very nice video with specifying the little connections you have to make. So uh, you, you watch that, that video if you want to go to this path. What it does is, uh, basically, you, this is a, a temperature sensor. It was meant to be connected here. And when I, I put, for example, um, 20 degrees, uh, I select 20 degrees. When, when it reached 20 degrees, it will uh, switch on the, the cooler. The thing is, I don't need this. It was silly to buy this. It was funny to test. It works very well, but uh, it was silly for me because I will no not need to to wait for for something to automatically uh, switch on my my cooler because it will be always cooling. It's a low-profile cooler. It's a mini cooler, so I want it to be always cooling and at a stable stable temperature even i do a lot i change the ip uh, from the ip sometimes i want to 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 find uh, uh, little objects like planetary nebulas I, I do it better start hoping so i i start hope with the uh, ip and then i put again the camera i didn't disconnect this uh, i i keep i keep this uh, cooling because if i disconnect it will start uh, step by step increasing the temperature then again cooling again it will and will uh, make more fluctuations so i always have this connected it drain uh, just a little bit power it hangs uh, all night with with this and my fan so i i i advise you to to if you want the same as i Please remember, if you, you want to reach the same as I, uh, I wanted, to get a 5 uh, 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 Celsius degrees below the, the ambient temperature or more, or, or more than 5, uh, you, you will be fine with this keep it simple setup. Okay, now let's see it uh, in the telescope. Okay, just to show you, I have my position here in my APM fast lock, very nice. I put like this, the cable enter here, the USB cable. I just do this and it stays firm and quiet. Uh, I connect then this here and uh, it has here uh, a button with a speed low medium and high i will show you have here the button it's connected like this is disconnected uh, the only thing is the the fan of the primary is connected at the same time now it's connected uh, the, the fan of the primary and if i want to connect the, the camera cooler i just put at the maximum and it's working right now See? See? Very low noise. It's cool. Just have to connect the uh, just have to connect the USB to the to the laptop here. And uh, and that's it. Here the UPS, the mini UPS. This is a mini UPS. It's like uh, it's better than a power bank. This cable I had before this goes to the the fan, which is always connected. And um, 
and this cable is the cable, the USB cable. See, USB connected. It's a five volt and uh, goes from here to here. This has a magnet with a tape, a magnet, a little one, just not to mess with the with the tooth. You can take it out. And here another one. I can take it out like this. And uh, I want to disconnect the camera. I just do like this. So, one thing I forgot to say. We uh, are talking about uh, temperature in degrees Celsius, but all the numbers I, I talked and I'm talking about are uh, the temperature of the sensor, not the Peltier, not the camera here. It's the sensor temperature. So when I say I low the five degrees, it's from the sensor temperature, which I control by sharp cap. That's why I don't need uh, any uh, controller of the temperature controller here, uh, an, exter an external one, because what uh, is important to me is the sensor temperature. And that I control through the the, the program, the software I, I, I use is SharpCam. So when I connect the camera, you you will see now the, the video uh, with the temperature uh, at SharpCam. Which means the temperature is on SharpCap is low is higher than the temperature of the Peltier, of course. The Peltier it's much more cooler, much more uh, cooling. Uh, so that's why I don't want to push more of the system, because to let's say to low, not five degrees, but uh, fifteen or twenty. That means that I will have to push uh, the Peltier and all these. Uh, system here much lower that means that it could create ice condensation and stuff like that that as you know I don't want so this is a a mini project a mini cooler nice um, tiny cooler that uh, gives me what I want without messing anything uh, it's an inexpensive uh, uh, project, easy to do, no soldering, no uh, complicated stuff. So if you want uh, that, I, I recommend you, it's very funny to do this. Now don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it's very important, give it a like to the video. Please be free to, to comment and give your suggestions also. And uh, let's see the facts and let's watch the video with the results of the experiment.